Welcome to Comic Movie 10, where you get insight into everything comic book movies and television related in 10 minutes or less. I'm Joe Kane. And I'm Dan Kane. No, no relation. relation. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and share and keep up with us at hecklercane.com. On this Comic Movie 10, we were talking about Daredevil Season 3 and what we expect to come. Yeah, um, recently uh, the new showrunner for Season 3, Eric Olson, mm -hmm. um, said that he was taking Daredevil in a completely new direction. Yeah. We kind of uh, hypothesized that we have a direction that we thought this would go into yes. uh, based on some comic book lines, mm -hmm. uh, uh, comic book stories that we yes. had looked at in the past. Basically, it's uh, a comic uh, from 1986, Daredevil Born Again. Yeah. Um, and I, I think a lot of people felt the same way. It's based off how Defenders ended, really. Yeah. Well, here's here's the thing. We have a, a, a depiction of uh, Charlie Cox uh, laying in the bed there. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Matt Murdock, I should say. Yeah. Uh, laying in the bed with his uh, midsection wrapped after the the uh, after the, the end of the Defenders. After the building fell on him. Yeah. And, and this leads us right to one of the main uh, pictures that we saw in this Born Again mm -hmm. um, uh, comic series. Yeah, he's laying there with the same bandages in yep. a convent with a nun nursing him back to health. Yes. And basically what happens in this comic book is um, it, it has a lot to do with Karen, actually. Okay. Karen Page, she is she leaves Nelson and Murdoch. Mm -hmm. Which she did already. Which she did already. <laughs> but she is pursuing a movie career, but she winds up in Mexico, um, doesn't really have a lot of success, and she actually ends up being a porn star. Hmm. Um, she becomes addicted to heroin, and to get drug money actually reveals the identity of Daredevil as being Matt Murdock. Yeah. That works his way back up to the top. Kingpin finds out, and he proceeds for a while to make Matt Murdock's life hell. Yeah. Which which is to be expected and kind of what we thought this storyline mm -hmm. would go along. Um, um, but Eric Olsen coming out and saying it's yeah. not following the comics. Specifically right. saying it's not following the comics. Right. Um, I mean, also with, with the comic, it, there's all the stuff that leads up to the scene that we already saw. Yeah. So it does kind of not fall chronologically in the same sense. I think it's just that it's such a striking, exact image you know, of the comic. You know, he, he spends time destroying this guy's life. Basically, he listen. We've, se we've seen this before. Uh, Frank Miller is the one who uh, you know penned this issue mm -hmm. uh, that we saw, and we've seen that uh, Frank Miller comic uh, adaptations in in films already. Right. Uh, you know, it's uh, Batman Year One and Batman um, uh, re uh, not Returns, <laughs> Batman Begins, mm -hmm. um, and we've seen these uh, you know comic panels basically re envisioned on the screen. Right. Okay. And these are all Frank Miller things. And this is a Frank Miller comic. So right. it, it actually makes sense that we saw that exact panel right. that came from that comic. Right. Absolutely. Um, you know, leading up to him being in the convent, basically, um, he gets Kingpin, freezes his wages, his bank account. Yeah. He ends up losing his house. He ends up being stalked by Kingpin people. Um, he he's homeless. He has nothing. He's disbarred from from doing law because he has sure. somebody pay. Uh, he has a NYPD cop say that he witnessed Matt Murdock try to pay off a witness in one of his trials. Hmm. Um, it ends with a one on one confrontation. Not ends, but it, he ends up facing Kingpin, gets beaten within an inch of his life, and he makes thrown his way to the river, thrown, or into, right? thrown into the East River. Yeah, I believe, and makes his way back to Hell's Kitchen and finds himself being nursed back to health by his mother, who he hasn't seen since he's a child, who in is a convent. a nun. <laughs> a nun who's worked in the church. So this is where that came from. Again, chronologically, all it, this happens before. That but, that vision is yes. the story that came up before it. Right. And we were thinking because of that, we would see this interpretation of it on the screen. Yeah, absolutely. But now, again, Eric Olson, the new showrunner, says he's taking it in a completely different direction. So uh, he wanted. He said he wanted to build characters, and he wanted right. to really look into the the uh, the depths of these characters. Which right. I, I don't know why you can't do uh, following that comic story. You certainly line. can. I think that one of the reasons was again, it's kind of a spoiler that I that I, I saw this. It's not a spoiler. I saw it and recognized the comic, but it's it's such a dark, gritty story. Yeah. Include especially with Karen, who is like a pure character. Yeah, we we like Karen a lot. I yeah. mean, she's she's a great character. She's now yeah. working for Ellison over there, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, it's it's 
it, we were going, okay, cool. She's got a good, she's getting her life together or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then we've seen her also on the uh, Punisher series. Yes. And um, you know she she was doing well for herself as the as the editor or right. one, not the editor one of the writers at the paper. Right. And um, you know it would be cool to see her go into a downslide. Right. Well, she, and that was kind of like what we were looking forward to. Right. She's kind of that that purity. Yeah. That's there. Yeah. She's not okay when she finds out that he's Daredevil. You know, she's yes. not, it's not something she's okay with. She's not like that. But to see that kind of spiral is, is a dark side of something that I think would have been interesting to be portrayed yeah. in the show. Well, you know, I think the I think this season is going to go down into a darker season than a uh, couple of, mm-hmm. th- than I want to say season two um, was not as dark as season one. Um, and I feel like this is going to go back into that realm of like really darkness mm-hmm. um, based on, you know, what happened there. And I, I'm still not convinced 100 percent. I mean, Eric Olson may be just trying to throw us off the tracks. Maybe uh, again, that's that's what it boils down to. Sometimes these guys come out and release statements that are, are um, not necessarily false, but not necessarily true to kind of push you in a direction that you wouldn't expect. Right. Uh, and again, with uh, uh, there's so many people that recognize this image. That, sure. that could be part of it, too. Sure. We're not the throw... only ones. No. <laughs> and that could be part of it, too. He's trying to throw us off because he's like, well, I don't want people to know exactly what's going on here. Yeah. But you, that image at the end of Defenders that I can't get out of my head f- it, that is identical yeah, to, to I mean, the, the you know what? You book. can take you can take that and write a whole new story about it, but have that image and and right. um, I'm curious whether they're going to bring uh, his mother into it. Maybe they take that simple character thing and put that put the mother in, and the mother is the nun, and maybe they drew that one piece of that from there uh, because that is so iconic looking. That's a that's like the uh, you know the Batman standing on the on the on the gargoyle. You know, mm-hmm. you're you're going to expect a certain thing from the comics. So right. here here's the 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 tip of the hat to the comics. Right. Showing this scene. However, maybe they don't go in that direction. Right. It's possible. But, <laughs> but like I said, all the events that led up to it. Yeah. Would have had to happen. If it was following it exactly, yeah, he's already well. We do know there. we do know that um, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio is coming back as the kingpin. Yes, um, and he's you know he's got a he's apparently going to play a bigger part this season. We're looking forward to see how this actually turns out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how do you think this season's going to turn out? Um, it's coming up on October nineteenth, and it's coming up pretty soon. Where they're going to release on Netflix the season three. Let us know and give us feedback on how you think season three of Daredevil is going to play out. We'll see you next time on Comic Movie 10. We love bringing you these episodes, and we need your help to keep them coming. Please don't forget to share and subscribe, and keep up with us at hecklocane.com. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Do it again.